Hello and welcome to the Peroxide Guide for Cormrock for Heroic Difficulty. He has one phase and four abilities which can be empowered. So Cormrock jumps and soaks the closest pull. We start with the green one here. And when you see absorb fell energy, that means he's gonna be jumping into the closest pull that he hasn't been in yet. I'll go through the ability called Grasping Hands. Hands spawn from the ground and grab each player and deal nature damage to them while immobilizing you. When they, when Cormrock jumps into the green pool, he empowers this ability, so instead of just immobilizing you, they also drag you to the pool and they try to kill. When you're gonna reach the pool, you're just gonna probably die because you're gonna take too much damage. This is a really bad example, the raid group should have DPS me out, they probably didn't notice, then the rogue notices and breaks me out, so that's pretty cool. Make sure you don't repeat this mistake. The boss is doing pound right now, and what it does, it does raid wide AoE damage. The way you deal me with this mechanic is to be spread apart 4 yards from each other. I also recommend using healing cooldown during this ability. He's casting fell outpouring. I just refer to this ability as shadow waves. He spawns shadow waves from the purple pool, which you just need to dodge. And if he empowers this ability, it just goes like... The waves are being spawned from all three pools, so the green and the orange one as well, so you have way more stuff to dodge. Fall Crush is a tanking ability. When this happens, you need to use a personal cooldown, and the raid group needs to DPS you down. And also, during this time, when Crushing Hand does appear, the other tank needs to taunt off you, and you perform a tank switch. So, throughout this... There's only one phase, like I said, and you have four abilities you have to deal with. So, Dragging Hands is one, Pound is the second one, Explosive Runes is the third one, and the Waves, Fell Outpouring, is the fourth one. But all these abilities can get empowered, the three abilities, sorry, Purple, Green, and Orange. If Green won, the Dragging Hands, if Orange, Empowered Runes, and if Purple, the Waves. But also keep in mind when he does absorb something like that, he also gains abilities for tanks that tanks have to deal with. So he jumped into the orange pool right there. What that means is he will also put an explosive burst on the tank that's tanking at the time. And you will need to go away from your raid group. You will be like a living bomb. So you also want to make sure that the raid goes away from you. And also recommend that healers or any of the people that can do external cooldown on the tank do it. Because tanks cannot act. They cannot use anything during this time. You see you get bigger, you're like dazed or something. Um, and you have to have a personal on you just to survive this. Because you explode and yeah. Pound. Just make sure you're spread on every pound. Grasping hands, DPS each other out, try to clump a bit, don't be on top of each other, because you will explode and die. Here's the other explosive burst. I'm being dragged right now, so the problem here is that I should have been DPS immediately, so I can go there and taunt the boss, so the other tank doesn't die. That shouldn't have happened, but it did. You just have to deal with it. To the best possible in this certain situation and you're gonna be fine. We also use heroism during low percentage so we maximize the damage in the last part. So we delete the boss before any of the big stuff happens. You also want to make sure that you avoid all the stuff, do as much damage as possible and do mechanics in the right order. This is the last bit of the fight, I get Explosive Burst here. One thing you can do, but I don't think it's intended, you can spam Anti-Magic Shell and you just might soak it, and if you soak it with Anti-Magic Shell, it pays off so much, like you get Runic Power and we're gonna use it for more damage. Um, 
but keep in mind if you can do stuff like that make sure you call out for external because you're unable to use anything during that while explosive burst is on you and make sure the whole raid goes away from you but yeah this has been Hormrock. if this guide helped you out make sure you like comment and subscribe it helps me out a lot if you want to ask anything feel free to do so if you want to check guides for any of the other bosses, just click the annotations. I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.